voilà <rire> quelles red eyes <rire> Oh, I've red eyes, guys. Oh, love, love. Cause I'm beautiful. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Karabali Zoilo and on this channel we are discussing and doing all things pro life. If you haven't subscribed, kindly click the subscribe button, like the video, drop a comment in this comment section and share the video if you can. So in today's video I'll be doing a solo sip and paint and then we'll also have a small chat. Um, about unpacking your identity so as i will be painting i'll be just having a conversation with you guys i hope you guys enjoy the video stay tuned okay guys let's get started i'm actually doing this for the very very first time um, i'm in a solo sip and paint um so if you see anything that is not make sure if you see anything that's questionable please please grant me grace and yeah anyways let's get started so that we can also dive into a conversation it's a very conversation that that's close to my heart um that's why i was like you know what i want to share it with you guys so that we can unpack it nicely and find out why as individuals why are we struggling with identity so much so guys i'm having a it's a mint mojito yeah then i'm gonna be having it from this last hmm. okay guys so now we can dive into the conversation it wouldn't be a long conversation um you guys i need to get a mic I actually have a soft voice so whenever i have to raise my voice it becomes much of a strain you know but anyways i'll try my best um to to lift my voice so that we can zwana require ne so yeah so i want us to discuss uh i just want us to unpack our identity i hope this video help someone i really hope my videos really do help someone and the lighting is not so good it's a bit it's actually late it's um 1721 it's 1721 and when it comes to the issue of identity i've learned that like as people we identify ourselves for example if someone asks me who are you the first thing i'd be like yo my name is Karabo. Um, and then I would list my qualifications, I'd list my achievements, and and and. You know, I studied where, 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 this is what I'm currently doing. I think it's natural for all of us to always um, define ourselves like that. And then sometimes we would be like, um, I'm a mother, I'm a wife. I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, you know, all those things, all those roles that we play in our society. I'd be like, I'm a philanthropist, I'm a, I'm a journalist, whatever, whatever that you do, you know, that's well and good. But now the problem starts when you attach yourself to those things. Because, say for instance, um, you describe yourself um, according to, let's say you're like, um, I'm, a, I'm a lawyer and everything like that. So what happens the day that lawyer title is taken away from you? How then do you now redefine yourself? How then do you now unpack your identity? Oh, God forbid you're a mother, you lose your child. How then do you say, um, I'm a mother? So that that is no longer there. So that's why it's important to always find out your purpose and define yourself into your God called purpose because the word of God says that um, we are called for works, you know, we are God's workmanship created for his own works. So that's why it's important to know why God called you into this earth so that you can define yourself according to that um, purpose, you know. I want to look at my Canva, but at the same time, I want to talk to you guys. You know, so, yeah, so like I was saying, you know, you need to find um, your God, 
given purpose so that you are able to identify who God, who God has called you to be so that you don't also fall into the trap of people defining you because people are very quick to define us guys your people are very define very quick to define us i remember once i was having a conversation with a friend of mine and we we were like but why do we like defining people according to their like their flaws or something negative about like their negative past why do we like doing that as people because sometimes um you find that maybe you once did something back then and then now all of a sudden people are people are what's that people are mm, what do you call this people are defining you according to what you did maybe something that you even did in primary school you know maybe you once stole like a sweetie when you were young and then now people are, are defining you according to what you did when you were still when you were still young you know and then you are now like 30 years old and then people are still saying and Karago, man, the one who once stole a suit in the tuck shop. So I was like, but why do we do that as people? Because, I mean, it's not good, you know, it's not good for us to do that because um, God has given us an identity. That's why it's, it's important to know who God says you are. Before people start um, defining you according to who they deem you to be, because you will now fall into the trap of like having people on social media um, identifying you or people in your workplace or people in your society. You know, that's why it's very, very easy to fall into the trap of um, like cyberbullying and stuff like that. Because when you're being cyberbullied, no matter who says what about you, you're able to come back and be like, but that's that's not who I am. You know, that's, that's not um, how God defines me. Because what's important is how God defines you because some of us um, we even grew up in families where our parents were talking down on us maybe let's say you would, you did an assignment in class and then your parents were like ah you didn't do well and then you grow up with that thing your peers at school are doing this and this is quite common in in our in our black community so as you grow up as a, a as a as a as a person who wants to do better and who knows better you then know what kind of words to not speak over your child because now you are not going to now come to your child and say oh dom when other kids are doing well you know that okay there's an issue that my child is struggling with and i need to help him you know so it's very very important for us to um know our identity and i love the bible because one thing about me is that the bible is the highest authority in my life like as a person you must have like an authority in your life you know for example in law we have the constitution as our highest source of the law you know so like there's there's an authority um, in terms of um, how the law is governed. So even as an individual, you must have like the highest authority. Like what governs you, you know? Um, what governs the principle, the life that you live, um, the things that you do, your, your belief system, what governs it? So that's why it's very important um, to know, um, like if, for instance, you're like myself, you know what the Bible says about you. For example, the Bible says that we are the light of the world, you know, that when you come into a place, you must light people's lives. Like you mustn't be a part of people's life and then their lives are not lightened, you know. People must be lightened by the conversations that they have with you, your aura like your aura must light up in a room when you arrive people must now start getting worried what is what is she gonna talk about what is she gonna brag about because as people you know we, we can we can we can become sour we can become dark you know we can deem that light that god has called us to be and god says that we are the light of the world so meaning that in a room full of darkness your presence always has to always have to light up the room 
you know and then um the bible further says that you are the salt of the earth what does a salt do you know a salt preserves you know a salt gives taste your conversations the things that you say to people the conversations that you have with people they must preserve they must season they must give taste and good taste at that don't find that um your mouth is full of distasteful words. Like every time you utter something or someone gets offended, you know. Of course, offense is inevitable. But it shouldn't be like an an everyday thing. So, so it should be like, okay, fine. No, 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 no. I was not aware that when I said this, I would, I would offend you, you know. And you must also be able to speak positive words into people's lives. <laughs> wallpaper i do have is it first peter chapter 2 verse 9 um the one that says that um we are a royal priesthood um that we are a consecrated nation you know we have god's um own possession i really love that scripture because um it reminds me every day of who i am it says that um we are a royal priesthood like Guys, one thing that we need to know is that we are our own priests. Before you get a priest at church, before you get a before you even get a prophet elsewhere, always know that you are the prophet of your own life. The words that matter the most are the words that you say to yourself, not the words that uh, someone else come and say to your life. Your pastor can go, or your priest, or your, the prophet can say to you. You will succeed you are the head and not the tail but if you don't believe it then it won't happen in your life you know oh guys i think i got bit by a mosquito yo guys this mosquito did it really bite me yes it did sure yes you know so i just want to wrap up this conversation and then we can continue with the painting because yo, guys it's getting a bit dark my lighting is getting my lighting is starting to take a decker I don't even like the lighting of this video. But anyways, um, you must also know that no matter what people say about you or say to you, it doesn't override what God says about you. So I want us to always operate in the highest way in which we can... Hey, these paintbrushes... <laughs> In which you can define yourself in which you can um define yourself but number one you need to find out god's purpose for your life and then start operating from the definition of who god says you are once you have found your purpose or even while you are still searching for your purpose find out what the word of god says or who the word of god says you are then in that way you won't really always have to um define yourself according to your appearance according to your success according to your position at work or your position in society or according to what is according to your race and everything because a lot of things change in between your position can change today your position can change tomorrow your weight your appearance your skin color <laughs> we are bbl we are we are bleaching and stuff like that so all those things can change that's why it's important to know who you are in christ before you you know before you you fall for any other person's definition man yes guys so that's why i remember in my first video yeah i get to know me when someone said to me 
um what do you do for a living i didn't want to define it to my corporate work i didn't want to define it to my nine to five because I, i'm also a servant of god i serve in the house of the lord i serve in my community you know i serve in my family i'm a servant you know and that's also my identity when someone asks me that i serve even in my workplace guys i serve i serve everywhere i go i make sure that i serve you know so it's 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 not um, that's why uh, at least I just gave you an example of like how to define yourself according to who God has called you to be yeah guys that's uh that's actually my conversation um for today while I finish off my painting and then but I'm sure you guys can see the progress now you guys can see the progress now yeah, it's a sip and paint guys sip and paint like a clown from the paddock guys oh love 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 it love it love it love it but it's getting dark guys um i need to pick up um go inside the house but yeah that's my finished product anyways thank you guys for joining me today in my little chat as well as my sip and painting it was really lovely doing it was very therapeutic it was refreshing it was everything i needed actually after a very hectic week that i had yeah you guys the mosquito i even went to fetch this because they are having a feast but anyways guys thank you so much for for watching uh cheers see you guys in my next video love you love you love you lots guys stay blessed please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share the video see you guys soon Focus on me